everybody. You're very welcome here to Waterford Crystal. My name is Lupita and I'm going to give you a brief history of our company before we head into the factory on tour. So we were founded here in 1783 by George and William Penrose. The Penrose brothers, they were merchants here in the city. They didn't have expertise in crystal, but they saw the opportunity, seized that opportunity and set up Waterford Crystal. They ran the company very well until 1799 when they sold it to the Gatchells. The Gatchells ran a very lucrative company here in Waterford as well, right up until 1851. Unfortunately, economic times, there was a downturn, so that caused the company to close. And we didn't open again for almost a hundred years. And that was when Mirishlov Havel and Charles Batchig traveled here from the Czech Republic. Mirishlov Havel was a young, accomplished craftsman. He came here to train our apprentices in the crafts of blowing, cutting, sculpting and engraving. You'll see all those crafts as we go through the factory. Mirishlov went on to become our chief designer here at Waterford Crystal and he designed the beautiful Lismore pattern back in 1951. So that Lismore pattern you'll see here along the wall and that was inspired by the Lismore Castle, which is a castle outside of Waterford. The windows and the turrets of the castle were Mirishlov's inspiration for this pattern. So around the room you'll see some more beautiful pieces. Over here you'll see our beautiful William Maddock clock. William Maddock, he was a famous clockmaker based here in Waterford City. The workings of the clock are from that time, so an 18th century craft mixed with the beautiful Waterford crystal panels which were placed on in 1990. So 250 individually crafted panels and we've got 48 handcrafted buttons. A beautiful piece combining the crafts of crystal making and clock making. Here we are now in our mould room and here our craftsmen, we've Connor and John working here in the mould room. They create the wooden moulds that we use for our trophy pieces and our one-off pieces. So they would be used in these wooden moulds. You'll see Connor here working on a wooden mould. So what they do, they carve into the mould using the lathes and the blades over here, carving in to create the shape within the wooden mould. So you'll see all around us here we have our moulds. We also have the tooling that's used up in the next area. So these would be blocks, dividers, pitches used by the craftsmen in the next area. The wood that we use for our moulds and for our tooling, it's a pear wood or beech wood. Beech wood sourced locally here in County Waterford. Pear wood we bring in from France and Germany. So for our craftsmen, you can see the skill it takes to create the shape of the piece within that solid block of wood. Okay, so here we are now in our blowing department. Here at Waterford Crystal, we melt our crystal down here in the tank furnace. So behind us here, you'll see our master craftsmen who've trained for five years as apprentices, a further three years to master the craft of blowing, gathering the crystal from the tank furnace, shaping it, blowing down through the blowing iron and creating the shape of that piece in a cast iron mold. Once he's happy with the shape of the piece, he brings it up here to cool for a few minutes and then overnight that piece will cool in the oven before it goes on to the next stage in production. So here we are now in finishing and this is where the pieces have cooled overnight in the ovens. They come out here. The craftsmen then have to remove the cap from the piece and that was the excess piece of crystal attaching the piece to the blowing iron. So you'd see the crystal has returned to clear crystal here. The craftsmen, they use a diamond industrial saw to carve away that from the top of the piece. The cap is smashed, it's recycled and reused again. So the craftsmen, you'll see them smoothing down the pieces here. And this is where the pieces are just finished off before they go on to quality inspection. Down in quality inspection, this is where the craftsmen check the pieces. We've stringent quality inspection here at Waterford Crystal. After every stage, the pieces are quality inspected. So they're looking out for flaws in the crystal. If it's not perfect, it's not good enough. So it's smashed up and recycled. Here we are in our hand marking department. In this department, every piece of Waterford Crystal is hand marked by our craftsmen. You can see Jim here hand marking this Irish lace vase. And this piece is hand-marked in this fashion, a series of horizontal and vertical lines. 
And this aids the craftsman down in the next area in cutting. It shows them where to place the cut on the piece. It works as a guideline for our craftsmen. So on every production piece, the guidelines are handmarked here by Jim in this area before going down to be cut. For trophy pieces, Jim would have to put a lot more intricate markings onto that piece to aid our cutters to put the correct pattern onto the piece. So here we are now in cutting, and this is where you see our craftsmen carving into the crystal, placing the desired pattern onto the piece, using the markings that were put on in hand marking on our production pieces. So you'll see our craftsmen, they use diamond industrial wheels to carve into the crystal. Our craftsmen here train five years as an apprentice, a further three years to master their craft. Today here in cutting, you'll see they're working on Lismore tumblers, they're working on Irish lace, beautifully, skillfully placing that carving onto the crystal. The craftsman, he has got to work as to how much pressure he applies to the wheel. You'll also see him looking through the piece. So using the guidelines, the craftsman will carve into the piece to create the perfect pattern on the piece. So now we can see Tom here. Tom is a cutter with us for over 51 years. And you'll see him very skillfully carving into this piece. And this is our beautiful Irish lace. It's a new pattern. You can see Tom using the diamond industrial wheel, carving into that piece. You can see the skill involved in creating this beautiful pattern on this piece. So here we are now in our sculpting department. Here, our craftsmen, you'll see them working here, our master craftsmen, they're working on solid blocks of crystal. So creating pieces using solid blocks of crystal that are poured from our tank furnace. Our craftsmen then use the wheels, the saws, the little buzzers all around them here to carve into these pieces and create some of the beautiful pieces you'll see on display here. So here we are now in the engraving area. Here is Waterford Crystal. We use a type of engraving called intaglio engraving. So that's copper wheels are used. And you can see Pat, our engraver, he's a master craftsman. Pat has been engraving with us now for over 45 years. He's engraving into the beautiful Waterford decanter. So the Herbs Intacta Manette Waterford. So the Herbs Intacta being engraved onto this piece. And Pat using a small little copper wheel engraving into that piece. All of our pieces, before they're engraved, they're dipped and cleaned. So you can see the beautiful effect that we get on our pieces from the engraving. Okay. 